All right, it's another day. It's it's another engine. This is Sean Dory's. Uh, what is it, number forty-two? Anyway, it's ready for the dyno. I have a timing pointer here, and it's at about thirty-five with number one spark plug. Which I'm gonna. This is gonna be number one spark plug. It's lined up with the rotor inside here, so that should light number one cylinder at this point but it'll be give or take five degrees we'll check that with a timing light when the engine runs but here's this nice valve train um, Lloyd Elliott cylinder heads um, not totally ready for the dyno yet because I got to put the water pump on it then we'll be ready for a first start Carl Eric, this is uh, Sean Dory's 383 number 42. Um, here. He basically never ran his motor and then his iron heads were found to have leaks. So these are just that same engine, never run in a car, but now it's got LE2 aluminum heads. Oh, and it's a small cam. Small cam today, uh, 224, I do believe. Warming up. Thirty-five hundred to six thousand. I guess, my guess is 490. Uh, All right, now going to 6400.
this small cam is acting like it should it had on the first pull 450 horsepower good torque it's 400 uh, 500 foot pounds torque 506 but it's a torquer yep 6400 It's just a, a dyno an anomaly or a, a stretch gauge because everything is everything's down. Or did, I'll check the just timing. Sounds good, so anyway, we're letting it cool off, and I'm just gonna check lash. Let's put a correction I misread this dyno sheet from that third pull. I was thinking that anyway, I was reading this the torque, and I was thinking, wow, it's not even 400. So, anyway, it actually came to life in it on that third pull where I put the timing up where it had slipped down to 30 maybe 31 and I put the timing back up to 36 this is at 36 and I got the 502 horsepower it peaks at 5900 uh, we got pretty good torque so anyway uh, I checked the lash, everything was good, and we're going to do it. We changed the coil. Not that anything was wrong with the ignition, but it's... Oh, it's been acting funny. It won't fire off at the initial crank. That's sort of a dyno problem. But if you keep cranking, then spark begins. The ignition system starts working, and the engine starts and runs, and it pulls fine. So, anyway... Um, ready for the fourth pull and hopefully it'll duplicate this third pull real close to it uh, oil looks good there's a little leak in the front and it's at the coin it's at the block off in there that if we could zoom into it maybe right in there is where it's leaking so i need to fix that prior to giving this to sean We swapped from that coil to this coil, just as an experiment. To that pole, I, I might call us uh, call it done. You know, fourth pole.
sounded like it, it slipped past a certain RPM. Yeah, that sounds like that sounds like a diner problem there. Or like, all right, the the yeah, the like water break, like the diner slipping it. Yeah. Like Fifth pole, just to see if we can get a con consistent and get the water break to be more consistent. It's still a 502 horsepower. Catch the RPM, I did that. It didn't seem as bad that time, but it's still.